this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, I completed the, the, the fire trial. I also caught a brand new Magikarp, which might not seem that good, but I'm hoping uh, to evolve it into a, a Gyarados. And I've evolved it up to, to level 18. I think I captured it at level 15. And what I was thinking is, um, I could use rare candies. Like, I could, rather than just waiting to upload it, um, upload it? <laughs> Sorry, too much YouTube in my brain. Uh, yeah, instead of, um, trying to, to, to level it up, uh, normally, I got a bunch of rare candies. Oh, Rage Candy Bar. Uh, it can be used to heal, okay, that's just to heal everything. Where's, where's the, the rare candies? I got three of them. So, let's, um... I don't know if I want to use all three of them on Squirmy. Let's just go and give one and we'll save the, the rest for a little bit later on. Just to, just to help speed up proceedings a, a little bit. But anyway, today we're going to go and uh, at least be heading in the direction to the next trial. I, I doubt we're going to do it today. But the last trial we did, I was at the top of the volcano. And this one uh, is apparently in the jungle. So I guess we're... We're heading to the jungle now, apparently. This has been a little bit of a crazy island, hasn't it? <laughs> you there! Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colres. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. Which brings out the power of Pokemon is... I believe that it is, it is the bond that they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to the trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Zed Ring. Now, that I think of it, I never asked you your name. Stumpy, is it? Ah, I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you this TM. You obtained TM43, Flame Charge. Ooh, good one. If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have the, a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The trial in Lush Jungle. The Z power is the true potential that I seek. Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are uninhabitable islands for Pokemon called Poker Pelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Stampy, I hope to see you again sometime. That was a random strange <laughs> encounter with a scientist on the street. Is this like his lab? Is this where he went to? What is this thing? This thing's... Oh! Oh, is this like a... What is this place? <laughs> Let's just ask them. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of Aether Foundation? Uh, sure. Be good to tell me what it is first. We at Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. In order to protect Pokemon, though, we must know a good deal about them and how they live. Right now, we are surveying uh, the Stuffle uh, that live on Route 8. The foundation, the foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we would also like to know what data the Pokedex records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register the Stuffle on Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll help us out. We are members of the AFA Foundation. We work to carry out conservation efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people, like those Team Skull Fugs. Slowpoke's tail has now fully regrown, but Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away with crimes like this. Right, so I need to, do I just need to, to find a bunch of those Pokemon and then come back and then they're going to give me money? So if that's the case, that doesn't sound like too bad of a deal if you, <laughs> if you ask me. So is there going to be just some like around this tall grass here? Now look, there's a little sneaky hidden path down here to, to go and grab this Pokeball. Don't mind if I do. Then it looks like there's a, a little area down the, the bottom of this, um, uh, this island here as well. Are you looking to, to battle? I oh, know. I think there's a um. I think there's a rare Pokemon in here. Oh no, the bubbles went. So apparently, when there's bubbles in the the water, then that means there's a, a chance to to get a rare Pokemon. And uh, in between this episode and the last episode, I did manage to. Oh, it's a Magikarp. Brilliant. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, I did manage to um. To, to to get one of what it considered a, a rare Pokemon, but it was just, it was a Staryu, and uh, Staryus are pretty cool, it was the only Staryu I've found, so, I don't know, I guess maybe it's rare in this game, but Staryus I don't count as being particularly rare, it was exciting to, to see though, I did try and capture it, but it, um, uh, yeah, I accidentally attacked it too much, and uh, <laughs> and took it out, so I wasn't able to, to get it, but uh, yeah, it was still quite uh, exciting to, to get to, to see it, so uh, yeah, let's keep making our way down this route, we'll go through the, uh, the grass a little bit, just so we can see if we can uh, get some of those Pokemon and also just any other Pokemon that uh, we might be able to, to find uh, in this area here. 
That would be good to, to get some of them as well. I also managed to, to find a random hyper potion. I'm just not finding any Pokemon. I keep look, look how many times have I ran through the grass and not found anything? Like normally I'm running through the grass and like really trying to, to like avoid Pokemon. And now the one time I actually don't mind if I start running into some, I end up not getting anyway. Come on, one Pokemon. There we go. Right. Let's see what we're we're gonna find lurking in the, the tall grass then. We have a oh brilliant a young goose like the most common pokemon in the entire game <laughs> uh brings back memory of when i had one what i call it like toothy or something i don't know i called it a weird name <laughs> right then we might as well battle it though because we are still trying to to level up uh, especially my um uh, my squirmy. Uh, we're especially trying to, to level up at this time. So I've turned the experience share back on. So it's not going to be getting a, uh, a huge amount of experience each battle. Uh, but then again, uh, once we uh, get to uh, another area where I can kind of really uh, focus on using it, then I can try and level up. I just like to, I like to keep my Pokemon at roughly the same level. Like I don't care about having them the exact same. Like sometimes they just overtake each other and stuff, but I want them to be, you know, generally uh, relatively equal, uh, I guess. And oh, we found a, a, a Trumbeak. I don't know what a Trumbeak is, but <laughs> we have certainly found one. Right, uh, Miss Stampicat, you can go and do your work. Uh, once again, go straight in and, uh, and use uh, a fake out. So I looked into, by the way, uh, what, um, some of the uh, the other moves that the um that the Miss Stampy Cat can do, and uh, yeah, let me uh, let me explain it once we get back to the the move screen. Is that that uh what's it called? Oh yeah, faint attack. So faint attack and bite do the exact same amount of da uh, d uh, damage. The difference is faint attack never misses, like never ever 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 misses apparently, but that's all it does. It does sixty damage, but then that's kind of all it does. Bite does 60 damage, sometimes misses, but also has a chance of making the other Pokemon flinch. And oh, got an Ultra Ball. And yeah, if the other Pokemon flinches, it basically means that it won't be able to, to attack me back on the, the next go. So yeah, there's kind of good things to, to both of them. So if the other Pokemon's weak and I just want to use one attack to, to finish them off, uh, then Faint Attack would be the best one. Otherwise, I think I'm going to use Bite because it's not like Bite misses much anyway, and they do faint pretty regularly. So I think they're going to be the ones to go. And I love this Pokemon. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like a Pokemon in a costume. It doesn't look like it is an actual Pokemon. It looks like just, I don't know, like a small person in a cow costume. That is literally what this thing looks like. <laughs> As it called, a mill tank. This is one of the, uh, a relatively older one. I definitely remember this one, uh, seeing this one about for a little while. So yeah, let's go and use Bite. And then hopefully it's going to, to finish. Oh, what's it doing? It's getting angry. Um, okay. It just seemed to get angry for a little bit. Maybe it's put its strength up a, a bit. Uh, it's actually a pretty high level. It's level 21. It's only uh, two levels uh, underneath what my Pokemon are. And it seems to be storing up all of its energy. I think it's about to do a really big attack. And so I would definitely like to, to be able to, to take it out uh, before it does that attack. So hopefully I'm going to get it. Oh no, it's unleashed its, uh, 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 unleashed its energy. And whoa! That was a big attack. It took out Miss Stampy Cat in one hit. That was awful. Right, let's go and uh, bring out Diglett. Uh, I guess, why not? Uh, and uh, let Diglett go and finish uh, uh, this Pokemon off. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, certainly a move I need to, to be careful for in the, the, the future. Let's go and use uh, Astonish. Uh, should hopefully be enough to, to finish this thing off. I don't know, is it getting its health up? What did it do? Oh, yeah, it is. It's getting its health up. Right, this is getting a little bit worrying now, because if it does that big move again, then I might be uh, in trouble. Let's go for a, a bulldoze. This normally does a, a pretty nice amount of damage. But yeah, this mill tank thing, this seems this seems to be pretty tough. I thought it was kind of like one of these gimmicky, silly Pokemon, but <laughs> it seems to be, uh, yeah, something that I, I need to, to kind of try and deal with. And that didn't do much. Let's maybe try and use Metal Claw. Maybe Steel does a lot of damage against it because it's the first time I've battled it. It's not kind of showing me what moves do a lot of damage against it. But I think so long as it doesn't do that... Um, that big move where it builds up its energy and uh, and was able to, to hit me, then I should be okay. And I did a pretty powerful attack for this, so that should hopefully uh, be able to finish it off. And oh no! It's got the tiniest little bit of health left. I hate that. I hate it when it's just got like a little itty bit of health left. <laughs> it's doing loads of damage. That move wasn't effective, but it still was able to, to do a huge amount of damage uh, against me. So uh, what I think I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to go and uh, avoid... Um, uh, a lot of the, the battles on the, the route this way, uh, just because um, uh, Miss Stampy Cat's uh, knocked out now, so uh, she won't be getting any help or anything. Uh, so I just want to get to a Pokemon Center and try and heal up, and then we can work out where the next trial is. So I want to learn Sucker Punch. Uh, this move enables the users to attack first. Jolly good. Uh, this move uh, fails if the target is not uh, readying an attack. Oh. If it's not readying an attack. Does that mean, like, if the, the move was going to be, like, doing, like, Tail Whip or something? 
I'm not sure, but it does 70 damage, so I've got to use it. But what do I get rid of? So Metal Claw... Hmm... I don't know what I want to get rid of. So this does... So this power, the user attacks everything around it with a ground shattering... I don't really want to get rid of anything, because this move's pretty good as well. <laughs> but, but, I mean, these are both quite similar. But which one? I think I think I'm gonna get rid of Bulldoze because Magnitude might not be better, but it looks more impressive and it's good at attacking a group of them. And I want to use this new move, so I had to get rid of one. And I didn't want to get rid of the the Ghost or Steel types either because if I go up against a Pokemon and that move's like super effective against them, then it's it's always handy to to have as many different moves at, at hand. So uh, Miss Stampy Cat is uh, is out. So let's uh, switch things around a little bit and let's have um. Well, I think I'm going to be using Poochie a lot soon anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's put Bowie out for a little bit. That's kind of going to be a, a nice, safe option. So it doesn't really matter who I have first in terms of experience, since I got the experience share on. Uh, and it all looks like there's a Pokemon Center uh, right uh, around the, the corner here anyway. So I might go back there and kind of battle the, the, the rest of those people uh, if, I, if I want to a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, let's go and try and, uh, and heal up. And then, yeah, go and find out where the next trial is. So it said it was in the, the jungle, and it uh, looks like we are pretty much at the, the jungle already. So I think we're definitely uh, in the the area uh, for where our next trial is uh, going to, to be for for starters and uh, let's go and uh, let's go and find out what this trial is going to be i wonder if there's going to be any dancing in this trial just like <laughs> there were in some of the other ones so uh, let's go and uh, switch uh, around poochie i want to find a firestone as well i was looking up to to evolve a growlith you need to use the 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 firestone and i don't have one yet so i would like to uh, to try and track down one of those at some point uh, throughout the the game if i can work out where one of those is Looks like there's another water area down here. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, what's that? I was running away. I'll come back. <laughs> it looks like there's some, some Pokemon that if I'm fast, I might be able to catch around here. What does this say here? Uh, trainer tips. Do you know what the stats describing a Pokemon's strength means? Uh, yeah, I do know what that means, so I don't need to, to know that. It looks like there's uh, somewhere where I can swim around there. I don't want to, to worry about that too much for, for now, uh, but it looks like we have uh, pretty much uh, arrived at where the, the, the next troll is. So we're on Route 5 here, and uh, I think this is it. I think the, the trial is right here. I was expecting there to be more obstacles or challenges on my way leading to this trial, but who knows? Maybe that's what I'm going to run into to now. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the Lust Jungle. The trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it's the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me. Uh, no, I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got the sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. Is this like a cooking challenge? Yep, it's got to be my personal speciality, the Mallow Special. I'm going to need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Here you go, I brought you a Forge Bag to hold all of the ingredients gathered for your trial. You obtained the Forge Bag. You opened the key items pocket and put the Forge Bag away inside. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they'll get mixed up with your own stuff. When you're hunting for ingredients, you're going to want to rely on Stoutland's help. You'll find things that you don't see after all. You remember what I told you at the farm, right? Just press the B button to use the Stoutland search. Okay, one more time. There are four things you need to go to clear my trial. Berry, mushroom, herb, seed. Okay, let's go then here in the La Jungle. It's time for Mallow's trial to begin. Right, we're, we're straight in, into the, the next trial. So looks like not dancing, but foraging. <laughs> we need to, to go and uh, try and find a bunch of berries. So I think what's going on here is basically she wants um, uh, she wants to, to get a bunch of things so she can cook some food. And she's basically just going to, to use me uh, in order to, to, to get it. And oh, there's something... Is it, is it down here somewhere? Was it over... Oh, where, where was it? Oh, down this way somewhere. It seems like there's something like right around... Oh, down this way? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, I found something. Uh, and then... Uh, there's some mushrooms in the soil. Which ones do you need? I think it was... Was it tiny mushrooms? 
Oh, I knew I wasn't listening. I just remembered it was mushrooms. <laughs> uh, but the big mushroom attacked. Oh, what's going on? The big mushroom attacked me. <laughs> okay. What's the, the big mushroom? Oh, that's, that's cute. Look at his little smiley face. <laughs> and the good thing is if it rains, it's going to be very nicely protected. Right. I do have my my poochie, though. I, know, I, I should have taught the, the, that new fire move to it, actually. Um, oh, look at all of these fly, fire moves I have already, though. Fire Fang. This is a new one. Let's go and uh, use the, the old Fire Fang, shall we? And let's see how much damage this does. Looks like, uh, looks like a lot. Well, not very much, actually. It said it was super effective, but it didn't seem to didn't seem to, to do too much. Let's go and use a, a flame wheel and let's see if that does more. Maybe this thing just has really high defense. Like it is a higher level than me. So I didn't expect it to be su super easy, but I thought that the, the, the fire fang might be able to, to do a little bit better than that. But good timing. Uh, Poochie was able to, to level up to, to level 22 and everyone else got a bunch of experience uh, for my trouble uh, as well. So I think I got one of the ingredients, assuming it's the, the right one. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Ooh, a tiny mushroom, that's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. There's still three ingredients left to get. We still need a, a whole big helping. Okay, right, let's uh, let's go look at my bag then. Let's see what that that other move did then. So where are my, where are my TMs? I think I went right past them. Is this them here? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. Uh, these are them. These are them. These are them. Right. Flame charge. Uh, only 50 power. Cloaking itself in flame. The user attacks, then building up more power. The user raises its speed. Oh, I don't care about raising speed. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's not worry about teaching that move. I have plenty of, uh, of flame moves. Well, let's actually let's, uh, have a look at my moves. And let's see what the... Um, let's see what that fire fang, whatever it was called. Yeah, fire fang. Let's see what that does. So that's uh, 65 and flame wheel 60. So user bites. Uh, this may also make the target flinch and leave it with burn. That is really good. That's much better than uh, than ember. Uh, this one just does 60 damage. So yeah, it looks like fire fang is basically the, the way to, to go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's not worry about the, the others. That's going to be the, the big fire move that I'm going to use the, the whole way uh, Yeah, through this game. I guess the only problem is that I do get close to the other Pokemon and sometimes like Pokemon like hurt you or like so put some sort of negative effect on you if you touch them. So I guess that is probably the the one and only downside to, to using that move. But it looks like there's something in this direction somewhere. Let's keep sniffing it out. Oh, oh I, th I think it's behind that grass. I think it's behind here somewhere. Let's go and save it out. Yep, there it is, hiding behind the grass. Oh, it's an X defense. <laughs> not a bad thing to find, but not a, exactly what I was after either. No, there's a, a random Pokeball here. I think I need to, to get off my Stout Land so I can sneak in uh, to be able to, to get that, to grab myself a, a Super Potion. Uh, might be very useful, because I don't think I can leave now. I think the way things work is that once you've entered the, the trial, you're kind of committed to, to being in the, the trial. Uh, so potions and things that get my PP up and all of those things are going to be really useful. And oh, can I leave? this area is this still jungle oh yeah the jungle's huge i thought it was going to be just that area at first but it looks like it it kind of keeps on going and ah do you reckon there's something inside of these rocks let's maybe go and smash these rocks and then let's go and have a search i reckon there's going to be an item that was hiding inside of uh, of here oh maybe, maybe not maybe not let's go and search around here uh in the back area here somewhere I was certain that there was going to be one hiding in those rocks there. Something did come up for a second. Let's just kind of keep going in this direction or behind the rocks. Oh, here we go. I got, I got it for like a second. There we go. It was just behind the rocks and it was an X attack. <laughs> Not one of the, the four ingredients I needed anyway. And whoa, look at the size of this rock. I don't think I can smash this rock, can I? I mean, that seems a little bit, yeah, that's uh, a little bit too ambitious for, <laughs> for me to be able to, to smash that one. I can, though, go crazy and smash absolutely all of those. And that was really satisfying just to, to, to blast my way through all of those. So, oh, they, are they all back? Okay, then the rocks all just go and reappear again. Let's just go and smash all of these away. And then uh, I didn't uh, get anything useful from this area. So let's go and bring up the, the, the stout land again. Oh, something, something. Keep heading in this way. Oh, no, this way. Down here. Oh, there we go. There it is. It was underneath that rock. I got the miracle seed. That's uh, another one of the, the things that I needed. Is something going to, to attack me again or are we good? I think we're I think we're okay. Hey, it's me, Mallow. That's a great miracle seed. Miracle seeds are bursting with nutrition. They are really a miraculous gift from the jungle. Still two more ingredients left to go. Just a little more to find. Right, there we go. Looks like uh, I'm a uh, two out of three so far. It looks like I'm mainly going to be getting one item per each area, it looks like. Uh, let's go and make my way down here and go and grab a... Oh, big root. 
Is, is that one of the things I needed? No, I think that was just something else that I need to, to craft things with. And uh, looks like, yeah, looks like we're kind of back at the, the beginning. Let's go straight up this way, because uh, this leads to uh, another area of the, the jungle over here. And let's have a, a bit of a, of a search around in this area here. And to see if there's anything else for, for us to, to find. There is a bunch of um, tall grass around here as well. But if you remember, you can't actually capture Pokemon uh, while you're in the, the trial. Uh, like, once you've completed the trial, you can kind of go back and get those Pokemon. Uh, but you can't capture them during the trial. So I don't care uh, too much about doing uh, much battling right now. But... Looks like I found something. Oh, hello! A Formantis appeared. Hello, little Formantis. Right, Poochie, time to, to go to work again. Looks like you're you're going to be useful. And look, it's level 23. It's a higher level than me again, once again. Some very strong Pokemon here. This is actually worrying me a little bit uh, about what the um the, the totem Pokemon's going to, to be like. Because if I'm going up against these Pokemon here and they're already a higher level than me, it's making me worry that... You know, the totem Pokemon is just going to be crazy, crazy, crazy powerful uh, when I go up against it. But then again, I got six Pokemon and Poochie's fire type, so I'm not too worried. But uh, it's actually kind of just good because it means that uh, if I am going up against some higher level Pokemon, then I'm just going to be getting a, a whole load more experience from it, uh, which is just a, a handy thing anyway. But it looks like we found something else. Oh, I got the I got the, the Mago Berry and I put that in my bag. I think there's only one more thing uh, that I'm after now. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Congrats on finding the mango berry. Uh, the bigger and more twisted the mango berry, the sweeter it tastes. Just one last ingredient left. Uh, go back out there and find it. I certainly will do so. Uh, yeah, one more ingredient left to, to go. Oh, I found some honey. That wasn't one of the, the ingredients, but I was able to, to find that as well. So I reckon there's going to be uh, one more different area uh, inside of the, um, the the forest that I need to, to get to. Is it up there somewhere? It looks like it might be up to the left somewhere. There's like another path there and a Pokeball, but I don't quite know how I can get to it. I might need to uh, to twist around and go uh, another way uh, in order to, to get it. Oh yeah, it looks like I need to go up here. So uh, I'm going to end this episode here, uh, seeing as uh, we've already uh, gone over the, the normal time these episodes are anyway. But don't worry, I'm going to upload the, the next episode pretty soon, and then I'm just going to carry on straight through the, the trial, and we can go up against the, the, the final battle, and yes, yeah, see if we can complete what will be the final trial on this island. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!